I'll start this off with a joke I got from Twitter. I didn't get the screen cap, but I know I read it from Twitter. Am I going to watch the Lion King 2019 remake? Let's just strip that band-aid out. The Lion King 2019 remake looks bad. I don't know what's going on. I retweeted this last May 2019 in reaction to this tweet that says, these are literally just lions. And you can see that they are. And you got these replies that seem to miss the point of the tweet. Bruh, bruh, bruh. This is the essential problem with the whole enterprise as it was with the recent Jungle Book remake. You can't anthropomorphize a photoreal animal the way you can a stylized animated one. We'll see how it works on screen, but these are just lifeless. I agree with this sentiment. I said this is my problem with the live action remakes. The cartoon was good because of the stylized interpretation of the animal. A literal talking lion is not as interesting as the old film. Ah! This is my fundamental disagreement with the revival. Something got lost when you made everything this realistic. And the good thing about the stylized 2D animations was that it anthropomorphized the lions, hyenas, whatnot. Anthropomorphism is the attribution of human traits, emotions, or intentions to non-human entities. It is considered to be an innate tendency of human psychology. Applying that to animation, we put human emotions to animals or objects or, or, or what have you so we could understand them, so we could get it. The ultra-realistic lions are a problem because they cannot fucking emote. They're about as expressive as Steven Seagal, which is to say, they're not. The 2D animation also made them emote in other ways in this really emotional scene. The way the characters are stylized is also important. See Mufasa and Simba, the yellowness of their fur, it's almost like it's golden. The red mane. You get that he's a hero. You don't need to tell me that Scar is the bad guy. Black mane, green eyes, darker fur. I get it, I get that he's the bad guy. Look what they did to my boy Scar. Why would you do this? Why? Scar had this lean, menacing look. Like you could feel he was a legitimate threat. Scar 2019 looks like you could push him and he'd break in half. No, you touch him and he turns to dust. He doesn't look scary is what I'm trying to say. That is a fucking pathetic lion. Maybe the reasoning is that he has to look like a scheming, conniving twig so that he could beat the Chad Mufasa. Fun fact. Mufasa's old voice actor is back, but not Scars. They gave it to Chakotay84, so yeah. In the original draft of this script, I thought he was gonna be a saving grace. He was a really cool, intimidating villain in Serenity. Young miss, I'll need all the logs on behavioral modification triggers. We'll have to reach out to River Time and help her to come back to us. No matter how far our time is... This is a good death. There's no shame in this. In a man's death, a man who has done fine works. But then I saw this. Not like this. Not like this! There is so much wrong with that scene. Like there's already a YouTube video that has that comparing those scenes from the 1994 version to the new one. The 1994 version is like, there's so much drama between Mufasa and Scar. The betrayal in his eyes. Scar has a hate boner for what's happening. The way he relishes throwing Mufasa off the cliff. The way Simba screams no, it was with such anguish, such emotion, you could feel it. These are just lions talking, fuck off. There is no subtlety or nuance to how that scene was delivered in 2019. It's just, let's copy and paste it, but in realistic graphics. But there is a limit. You can't express shit as I have already said. This scene pales in comparison to the 1994 version. The way that no was delivered was so bad. It wasn't like you saw your dad die before your eyes. It was like, no! There was also a cool transition thing that the 1994 Lion King did as Mufasa is falling down the ravine, the gorge. The screen darkens and we're zooming out from Simba's eye. Like he is seeing that image in his mind's eye. Like it's engraved in him. 
He will carry that guilt until he's an adult. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. There's nothing creative about how this scene is remade. The nuance in the 1994 version is gone. There's nothing here. Another thing that the executives at Disney failed to consider is that there's gonna be a disconnect between the visuals, the audio, the emotions in that scene, and what the audience is viewing. You can have an emotional monologue, but when the lion cannot show the expressions... Mufasa has always shown too much restraint when it comes to hunting. When I am king, the mighty will be free to take whatever they want, because a hyena's belly is never full. I'm not gonna feel anything. The reviews are out. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but this is the first time I'm gonna agree with the critics. What's wrong with you, audience? God damn. Let's read through some of them. Even if it were good, the best this movie could have hoped for was to be an imitation of something that was already perfect to begin with. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> thank you. Some of these remakes have been more inspired than others, but few have felt quite as futile as The Lion King. This isn't the circle of life, it's more like a creative dead end. <laughs> the Lion King is one of the most technically impressive disasters in film history. <laughs> At no point in John Favreau's The Lion King does it seem like it was a good idea to remake Disney's 1994 African Wilderness Parable, apart from the financial windfall it is sure to approve. I think he's right. I think that observation is on point. Oh, let's, let's hear from a super reviewer, KJP. Whether or not you're in the positive or negative side of Disney remaking the classic animated film, or not, they're clearly full steam ahead of doing all of them. So buckle up for the ride or turn away for the next decade or so. Personally, I'm indifferent to the whole idea. No, you're not. Loved it. Even though you knew what was gonna happen, it impacted harder, became of the real life feel. Amazing. The graphics were unbelievable. Special effects are just a tool, a means of telling a story. People have a tendency to confuse them as an end to themselves. Uh, a special effect without a story is a pretty boring thing. Related to that is if you're just gonna add special effects to tell a story that has already been told better before, then the retelling is gonna be boring as fuck. How about that shit? Conclusion. Don't watch this shit. If you wanna watch it this weekend, just don't. YMS Adam says it best. Remember that if you buy a ticket to Lion King 2019, you are voting with your wallet and are telling Disney to make more things like it. I think Disney will attempt to exploit nostalgia box as long as it's alive. I'm not gonna be surprised if they remake the old classic trilogy from Star Wars. I mean, they got the rights. Disney could also take it to a new direction. They're making the Little Mermaid black. What's stopping them from remaking the trilogy? With Luke as a girl, Leia as a girl, and Han as a girl. Actually, this is kind of fine. Actually, it's just, this is kind of perfect. Actually, I, I don't really mind if. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. If you particularly like this type of content, consider subscribing. If you really want to show your support, consider contributing to the Weekend War Chest via Patreon. Like these wonderful patrons Hyrter S. Yurterson, Daniel Dimitriev, Nerzul I. Tad586, Chet McMasterson, Peter B, Rhea Rules, Sexualizing the Holocaust, and John Lemley, as well as these other wonderful warriors.